All right. Introducing Miss Harley, female heel monster, captive bred. She's going to be two years old on Halloween. Just ate a couple of small pre-killed African sawfur rats. Hey YouTube, Kevin here. Welcome back to KG Constrictors. Look at this cute little girl. I am so honored and excited to introduce the newest addition to the KG Constrictors Reptile Collection. This is Harley. Harley is a captive bred reticulated Gila monster and she hatched out of her egg on Halloween of 2020 and I got her from a breeder friend who was gonna use her in his breeding program and then just decided that he just had you know too many and he knew that I wanted one and I am very blessed that I can call her my own now she is a sweetheart I have been wanting a captive bred Gila monster for years. Um, spending 10 years in the Phoenix, Arizona area, I used to see these guys out in the wild and knowing enough, you don't want to mess with anything wild. So if you want one of these guys, you got to go through a reputable breeder who breeds them. We'll give you a certificate to prove that it is captive bred. And because this girl is a holdback, she's very used to people. Now, am I going to, like, handle her without gloves? Eh, probably not. Always better to be safe than sorry. But, you know, once again, these guys, their venom delivery system is very different. Um, they don't have fangs with, like, hypodermic needle type delivery. They've got... Um, their venom glands are in their lower jaw, and it's de it's basically designed as a deterrent. It's defense. So in the wild, you know, Mr. Coyote, old Wiley Coyote, decides he wants to make a meal of old little Harley here. Harley's going to bite that coyote and hang on for dear life, and that coyote is going to run off and just wish it was dead for the next 48 hours. And it's going to remember... You know what, next time I run across one of these lizards with the really bright orange coloration, I'm not going to mess with it because I was just sick for 48 hours and all kinds of excruciating pain. These guys don't use their venom for prey. You know, they're not like a rattlesnake that goes out and bites the rat and then lets go, waits for the rat to die, and, you know, the venom starts to digest the rat. That's not what these guys are all about. The reason why they call them Gila monsters is they're from the Gila River system in Arizona. And monsters, because they kind of are. They go after um, ground nesting birds like baby quail. They go after quail eggs. They go after like pack rat and, you know, rat dens. They'll go into a rodent's den and they'll chase the parents out and they'll just eat the entire litter of, you know, baby rodents, the helpless little babies. They are, they're not all about, you know, they're not, their venom is not about um, dispatching prey like, like other venomous reptiles. It is strictly defense. These guys are just really, really laid back. They're, you know, they can cruise, but they're slow moving. So the average life of a Gila monster is they're going to cruise around the desert, do, 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 do. You know, they are going to spend most of the time underground in humid um, burrows. They don't really like the, like the heat. So, very misunderstood creature. And uh, I'm very, very proud to have one. And we're going to have a lot of fun doing a lot of videos on this girl. If you got any questions, post them below. And just enjoy her chilling out.
Yeah, so once again, these guys, their, um, their venom is strictly defensive. What they're gonna do if somebody messes with them or if some animal messes with them in the wild, they're gonna bite on like a pit bull. And they're gonna latch on. And then they're gonna just chew and chew and chew and deliver that venom. Um, it's not the most efficient delivery system. They've got venom glands in their lower jaw and their teeth have grooves in them. So they literally just kind of chew the venom into their, into their, uh, their attacker. So once again, very different from your typical venomous reptile. The, um, the hemotoxin, which is designed solely for pain just as a defense mechanism so the would-be attacker like you know like the coyote or bobcat will, uh, will have a bad day uh, and remember not to mess with the lizard that uh, has the black and orange coloration in the future so that's pretty much what the venom is all about um, everything that I've heard and read um, nobody's ever died from the Gila monster bite 100% preventable be really careful um, I've got special gloves that I use. Um, if you are going to handle them without gloves, there is a specific grip that you practice. And I'll be showing that down the road in another video. Uh, but that way they can't like turn their head and bite you. But overall, these guys are pretty laid back. If they're captive bred, they're, you know, they get used to people. But accidents you know, do happen. You can spook the animal. And uh, you just don't want to take a chance. So better just to be just to be responsible and, uh, and be safe. But uh, these guys spend a lot of time sleeping, and um, they're just they're very very cool. Just love to just sit there and look at them. So, all right. Well, anyway, thanks a lot for uh, for checking in. We will uh, do some more videos down the road as this girl starts to grow even more. She's going to be two in Halloween, so she's got a lot of growing to do. She's still pretty small. If you're new to the channel, uh, welcome. Go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and ring that bell for future video notifications. And uh, we'll see you soon.